Hi, so I'm a big fan of um, scratch building RC aircraft from foam board, but if you're here in the UK like I am, you'll find there's actually a few differences between the foam board we've got in the UK and the stuff you'll see being used on flighttest.com and places like that to build their plans, which comes with a few differences. For a start, it's, it's, it's noticeably heavier than, than the American stuff, and it's also the, the backing is nowhere near as easy to peel, and it's also nowhere near as easy to curve, which gives you, it leads you to a few interesting issues. So, I mean, if you're trying to curve a piece of this stuff, particularly this stuff from the UK, it can be quite problematic. I mean, the, the backing paper, you have to be really careful, otherwise it will just not come away cleanly, so you have to try that. You do it from both ends and really just work it off nice and slowly and don't try and rush it and you can get it off you should get most of the way down and then come back to the other end you need good nails for this and that's got most of it there. And there we go. So you see that's nowhere near as clean as you'll have seen in the US. Now in, in terms of curving this now, the standard technique is to press all the way along with your thumbs like this from top to bottom. So you're just sort of squashing the profile along there and then taking it to the edge of your desk and rolling it over nice and slowly you can just sort of start to make that curve and on the thinner lighter American foam board, that tends to be okay and it curves nicely but you'll see here you start to get a bit of a curve but if you try and pull it into any tight crease you can see that you start to get these crease lines appear on the outside all the way around and it just looks a bit naff and a bit meh really so there is a better way. So if we take another piece of foam board and we do the same, nice and carefully again, just as carefully as you can. As soon as it starts to rip, turn around and go from the other end. Just move away from any holes and you'll find you can get that off fairly cleanly. So now you've got your blank piece of cut board. Now, to, 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 to curve this nice and neatly, what you do, take, a, take your scalpel very sharp and a ruler. And then all you want to do is not all the way through, and literally not even a millimetre apart, just go about half a millimetre apart and you don't have to go deep but you just score to break this paper up on the inside And what you'll find, where you've scored it, it now becomes very mushy. You've taken away an awful lot of the support out of that just by cutting up that inside paper. That's gone very squishy compared to the other side, which even with the inside paper removed is still pretty solid. So if you now just keep going all the way to the end. When you get to the very end, just squash it again all the way with your thumbs just to give it a squish. Now you can actually see it's starting to curl already. So now take a nice heavy, I've just got a flask here, nice heavy bottle, really pressing. Press this down, you can hear it squishing 
all of the foam down and then when you bring it over pick it up with your finger and just roll it nice and tightly around the bottle and you'll actually see there it comes up with no creases at all and do that a few times and just let it roll so now if you've got the part like this one here which has got a nice curved surface on it this will now actually curl around straight around the top with no visible creases on the outside. Thanks for watching.